Welcome back to another episode. And today, what I want to talk about is Warning Sign. Now, this is a film that I've wanted to talk about for quite some time. Mostly, actually, when this channel began. This is one of the first films I wanted to talk about. But I just haven't been able to get a chance to do so until now. And this is a film that I think is a hidden gem. I absolutely think it's a hidden gem. Yes, it, you know, it was put up by Screen Factory about a year or so ago. And... I don't hear a lot of people talking about this film. That's the thing. And I really want people to know about this film if they don't know about it. To me, this is reminiscent of like like George Romero's Crazies, but on a way lighter scale. You know, you're dealing with like a rage virus, kind of like in, you know, in this making people go crazy. But it's well, you know, it's well acted. It's just well done film. You know, at times you could probably feel like it's like a made for H one of those mid-80s made for HBO films, but it's not. It, you know, this was put out by, by Fox Films, 20th Century Fox, and this is a film that I discovered, you know, an old VHS copy that my dad had, had it, you know, I watched it numerous times on that, got the DVD when the DVD came out, watched it on that, you know, and now, you know, I was super excited when Screen Factory put this out. It was a day one pre-order. I had no hesitation pre-ordering this right away. It's just a lot of fun. You know, you have... This cover here, you also have the reversible artwork. Now, this is the artwork. I mean, this might be the actual artwork for the actual film, for the, you know, poster for the film. But I know this is the artwork that's on the, the DVD, if you ever come across a DVD. And that's, that's nice artwork, too. I like that artwork a lot as well. You have Kathleen Quinlan, Sam Waterston, Yafet Kodo. Yafet Kodo, obviously, from Alien and Live and Let Die. And... Basically, what you have with this film is Kathleen Quinlan is a security guard working at this this uh, bio lab. It's a bio agricultural lab, you know, trying to, you know, how can we make, you know, produce better? How can we grow it faster? Just things like that. But, of course, the government has its hands in it. And deep within with this building, you have a lab that is developing a bio weapon, a rage weapon, a rage virus. And, of course, a viral gets... Um, Vile gets busted. The rage virus now is has infected the building. You know the biohazard has begun. Lockdown in the building. You have you know you, uh, Captain Quinlan is a security guard. She shuts everything down. Everybody just scrambling. They want to get out of the building. You know to safety. You have all their loved ones outside the building wanting their loved ones to come out of the building. It's just you know and you have the townspeople just getting really frustrated with what is going on because the government is not letting them know what's you know as far as they know the government's not even involved with this this is basically just a, something that has happened and is now being covered up as just something that has to do with the agriculture you know just something that they were you know using to en enhance you know the growth of like corn and other crops not telling them that this is really a bio weapon you have sam waterston he's the sheriff of the town he's also the husband of kathleen quinlan in this film um you that Cotto, he's the government agent that's brought in to kind of tr calm things down for the townspeople by basically lying to them and you know sam waterston he figures out what is going on and he just wants his wife out of it. he wants to save the townspeople or save the people that are in the building but he's still but he just wants to get his wife to safety and get her out of there um, there's another gentleman in this film that he has that Sam Waterson tracks down who used to work at this uh, lab. He knows what's going on. So now every you know they, between the two of them, they have to figure out how they're going to get in this building, create a you know a cure for this you know this this virus, you know get his wife out of there, you know. And the government, as far as you know, as far as yep, that Kodo's there, he's there to kind of like you know make things easier. He knows that he's basically just giving up. Like everybody's just gonna die that's in this lab. But he just want you know, he's gotta, you know, give the uh, smooth talk to the townspeople, not letting them know, like, hey, all your loved ones, they're dead. They're done. But this is just a really good film. Not, you know, not too much violence in this film, not a lot of blood in this film, but it's just really well done. The acting is really good in this film. And it's just it's a lot of fun. 99 minutes runs very crisp, you know, right through. You know, no hesitation gets right to it, just like that, guys. 1985 film, really good. It looks really good on Blu-ray too. I was really happy. I mean, the VHS, obviously, you know, with VHS, they don't always hold up and look that great. You know, the DVD looked really good. This looks the best I've ever seen this film, and it's definitely worth picking up. 
I can't, you know, say enough about it. I really enjoy this quite a bit. Barely, it's light on the special features. I mean, you do have some new interviews with the director and the co-writer, you know, as well as the producer. Audio commentary. You also have a theatrical trailer, a TV spot, and a photo gallery. But, yeah, guys, this is just one that you definitely pick it up. I don't know if a lot of people know about this film. And if you don't, it's definitely worth adding into your collection. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's a lot of fun, guys. It really is. I, you know, going back, just watching it, you know, just the other day, you know, and getting ready for this video, I kind of want to watch it again because that's how much I really enjoy it. You know, sometimes you can have a horror film like this. You know, there's nothing wrong with the, you know, with the, you know, the super, you know, gory films. There's nothing wrong with that. I enjoy those just like anybody other, any other horror fan. But sometimes, you know, even when you get a little lighthearted like this, there's nothing wrong with that. A good film is a good film, no matter what. You know, just remember, you know, just remember that. I mean, look at the original Halloween. You don't get a lot of blood in that film. Very, very minimal, if anything, you know. But still, it's a really good film. And if it's done well, it's done well. And that's what makes it enjoyable. So guys, please, if you like, subscribe, and comment, you know, if you get the chance, I appreciate it. Like always, you know, I really do appreciate it, guys. And I will see you guys in another video. But until then, get out there. Go to Amazon. Pick this up. You know, check out Screen Factor or Shout Factory as well. See if it's still available. It's definitely worth picking up. You won't be disappointed. Take my word for it. You're going to like it. I really, you know, it's not going to change the horror genre, but it's really worth picking up. Trust me, guys. So guys, have a great night, and I'll see you in another video.